They're taking property and just destroying it instead of storing it. There's nothing wrong with that furniture at all, so they're just going to destroy it because they don't care. So I think what we're going to do is call the state police. Hey, pull out your phone. Get the number for the state police. I'll call them for a complaint. This is bullshit. You guys need to start following your fucking law. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't stored property. What are you? No, no. Just call. Just look up state police phone number. I'm, I'm in the middle of live stream because nobody else is live streaming. Huh? Yeah, sure. Centennial anniversary, <laughs> rate number 21 at uh, the Occupy Honolulu. As you can say, everybody wanted to join up for the party. <laughs> yeah, it's always known when uh, we're appreciated by how many people they show up with. messing with that tarp. Look at that. Are they just going to take everything and throw it out? Occupy Honolulu, the longest running 
Occupy Hammett the entire Occupy movement worldwide. What can stop people that have an idea? Twenty rays, or is it twenty-one? Twenty-one. Twenty-one rays. Two hundred days. These are back up. Third one, and finally, I thought people were right. Yesterday was 20, right? Huh? Yesterday was 20, because we were at 18, so it was 19, 20, yeah, 21. Yeah. 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 Because the first, the, the first one was 19, and then 20, 21. Because it's the third one in three days. I don't see wet. They're not getting a lot of stuff. No, they're not. They, they threw out some of our chairs, though, and crushed them. They threw out the white chairs. They crushed them. Yeah. So, they're not even pretending to store things anymore. Right. Yeah, they just crushed them. Look at this guy holding this thing, though. It's like... Uh, what the fuck do you think you're doing? No, they're going to keep that. He's going to take it home. Watch. I have to apologize for the uh, shaky uh, footage, but I have uh, my live streamer on my belt this, so I can work my... Go right ahead. There's a lot of other people to go through. It's just us that don't want in here. What's going on right here? Why are you guys outside today, not inside? Oh, because someone's Cheerios got shit yeah, on, <laughs> and they're not liking it. So see they're the man with the gun. <laughs> see the man with the gun. That's why yeah, I'm outside. Want to bet? What's this guy? Armed force being used against peaceful people. Armed force being used against the poor. Now, JK, you know the law to buy insurance for cars? That was a law against the poor people. We've got law on the splinter cattle. They have a lot of laws against the poor people. The the poor people can't drive. Right. Right. It protects people lying by the side of the road. Right. Right. It's a law that still is poor. The emblem is on the badges of all one of the local police department people. Law of the splinter cattle. Look that up. Kind of lie, my mama hood. Oh, is that the one? Yeah, I got to get out. You got to get out. Yeah, I got to get a bigger bullhorn. This raid is being led by Trish Morikawa, coordinator of Mayor Carlisle's Office of Housing. Can we ask why he's carrying our property around like if it's his own teddy bear? Hey, who are these guys in the and slamming it on the ground? If it wasn't tagged, there's no reason for him to play with it. Unless I'm able to play with other people's property right now. Was it tagged? No! How's it taped up? He, he's just standing there playing with it like it's his own. Why was it taped? Why don't he just put it down and stop playing with people's property? Mayor Carlisle and he was chief prosecutor. What are they here to do? They are refusing what are they here for? Yeah. Why they but see, them? they'll ask me to leave when this is registered as my legal address in office through the state. But this little punk here, he can do whatever he wants to people's property. Who? That guy with that blue uh, canopy. It was a tag. There's no reason for him to keep playing with it, but he's sitting there, he's slamming it on the ground and playing around with it. It ain't his property to play with. He's here to do a job. He should do his job and stop playing games. Simple. I'm trying to be nice right now. So I guess it's authorized for people to play with other people's property. Anybody like that dump truck down there so we can play with people's property and not have to worry about anybody doing anything? It is running. I know how to drive one. And, uh... <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> 
Was that was that out last night? Yesterday? For him to be able to take that today? Huh? We, uh, that's, 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 that's what I'm wondering. That wasn't out for him to be able to take. Hey, Billy. You were sitting at the info booth yesterday. They're not dealing with Was that canopy it. out for them to take it? No. Exactly. All right. Yeah, he is. Sir, may I ask you what authorizes you to carry that with you right now? Huh? Can I ask you what authorizes you My to boss. carry that? My boss. Your boss? Yes. Can I see what the tag states on it? I'm not going to take it from you right now. I just want to see what the tag says. Forget it. Show me the tag. Right no, no, no. Good. Okay. Good. Not showing shit. Is that how you talk to people on the job? You were just recorded saying that. Now, that was actually dated for two days ago. So you're stealing. You understand this. I can't hold you civilly liable. Yeah, that's fine. Come back tomorrow. I'm glad you were able to join us for day 200 here. Yeah. Yeah, it was cool. Get all up in my face. That's cool. Don't worry, man. Don't get stupid and lose your job over bullshit, man. You ain't scaring no one. <laughs> Oh, that guy, he's acting all tough right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so hopefully you do come back. We'll see you again. It's cool. But if you're going to keep swearing at me, I want you to know it's recorded. Okay? Have a good day, man. I'm glad. Keep it up. <laughs> Okay, if you're if you're gonna allow your people to walk up to me and swear like that while they're on the job, we'll have another complaint here. And as for that item, that was tagged two days ago. It wasn't out, and there's proof of it. I would like my item returned. Okay, the item he's specifically talking about an umbrella that they took. The umbrella wasn't tagged in yesterday's rack. Yeah, but that's not, that's not banned forever, is it? That was long. It's 24 hours. It's 24. We read the bill. It's 24 yeah. hours. Yeah, it's 24 it's hours, man. It's been removed within 24 hours, but right. it's been moved. That's why they're here again. That thing flies off the pole all the time. It's been moved. We need to move this other thing. Yeah, that's where we put everything. In the tent, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I know that. That's why we kind of touch the tent, right? Even though you guys actually... Didn't move it on the side But they're no, the, the tents are all moved. Everything, the tent is moved. Yeah, so we moved everything into the tent. Inside another tent, right? Yeah. Yeah, so on the side one, right? Yeah. But it's been moved. Yeah, I know. But it must have had forever back. Oh. We do about 74 hours. It, the, the law only stays 24, though. Well, you have to move it off within 24. Okay. Who are you to say that we didn't move it off? Well, you guys were here yesterday. You didn't see it yesterday. Can you prove that? Uh, you just said you guys put everything in the No, no, no. You didn't say everything. Why didn't they put it in here? Why did they put oh. everything else? Oh, because we can store that one. So yeah, you, you'll, you you'll store that, that but you chairs. won't take, keep our furniture. No, no, the chairs. The, the chairs they could put in there. In there the was nothing broke on them. Someone's going to take that home. They're not going to destroy it. Someone's going to take that home. No, exactly. We got proof for it. They know it. They don't give a shit. I'm surprised that they're letting me be down here. Maybe that taped idea isn't a very good idea when they... <laughs> now they have to fight of what they're doing up there. <laughs> you know what it is? Because it keeps you away from them. It keeps but you away from them, but it keeps them away from me. <laughs> Nuts. What's up? Hey, that guy in the black hat. Right on. At least he never swear last <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean?
Yeah. I think he's Venezuela. Last one called me on the phone. Oh, yeah, so you guys? Yeah, but I saw you. Uh, wow. Well, there's been a couple people that's made it personal against people that shouldn't be. Oh, no, but you know, you cannot be. No, I believe I believe in trying to show respect to the people yeah, that show me respect. Right. Yeah, exactly. It, well, no, it's true. It's true, man. Everybody's got a job. But that's like that. It's like that one guy that was down there when I asked him would I be able to see exactly why you're taking it, and he's like, "What do you mean?" I was like, "I just want to see the tag so I know what day it was tagged on." He's like, "You ain't seen shit." Dude, I'm like, I'm not touching or messing with you. I was like, and then he got all up in my face. I mean, literally all up in my face. I was like, act like a tough guy. Lose your job for nothing. You're not scaring no one, dude. I was like, I could be an ass, too. You've seen it. You know, when someone pisses me off being disrespectful, it's cool. You know, be disrespectful to me, I'll be disrespectful to you. But yeah. We have a few individuals that do definitely carry it away with people they shouldn't. <laughs> but we only got to do what we got to do, yeah? Right. Oh yeah, everybody's got a job to do. Just like we, like we feel we got a job here, you guys. Right. You won't be here all night. You can come anytime. Oh yeah, we've been, we've been. Yeah, but there should be uh, some code of ethics kept in there. You know. And the rules have been violated several times. You know, so it's, it's you know. It's, I mean, everybody signs that paper for rules of ethics, you know. And like the one gentleman there, when he's wanting to violate it by getting in my face and starting stuff with me, just because I asked him, I even told him, I was like, I'm not touching it, I'm not going to take it, I just want to see the date on it. Okay, man, that's cool, because now you just set yourself up for another complaint, and he may not know it, but you guys should know it. I mean, I'm in the mayor's office all the time. You know, I work for the city and county. I know. <laughs> Huh? Teacher. Teacher? No, not a teacher. No, I'm a state delegate, man. <laughs> I'm a state delegate. <laughs> so, so hey, you know, I mean, these guys have a, a valid reason of being here. That's why I've been here. and you get different stuff, yeah? Huh? Shoplifting and the other kind is all different things. I don't cause that. And if you, if you guys actually think about it, if you keep stealing from the poor and they have no way to replace, what do you effectively just made them into? Thieves. Because you got to survive, right? I mean, you guys know how much they actually send personnel out to try and offer help to get them off the street and put them in a shelter. You've seen how often they do that. It's not very often. You know, when they have, they've denied people that's here at this camp before they even knew their name. So when you steal them from them, you're creating thieves. So, you know, I mean, it depends on how you want to look at it. Nobody wants a thief. Nobody wants, you know, people sleeping in front of their doorstep. But when you're going to keep pushing them around, that's what you're making them do. You're not helping anything. I think the bill is actually a good bill if, there was, if they were approaching things right. You know how much they get for crack if they find it in that bag? How much they get for crack in the jail? When I was your age, I was out stealing from poor people. Man, I'm, I'm awesome. I really did my job for society. I stole from a bunch of poor people. Yeah. That's awesome. Hey, that's awesome. Yeah. Bunch of criminal thieves stealing from people who don't have a means to replace it. But that's cool. You get a paycheck at the end of the day. Hope you enjoy that blood money. <laughs> Well, it's like I was talking to the one gentleman. It's their plan to get people off the street. If they make them into criminals, then they can arrest them. If they give them no other means, and so they get caught stealing, then they effectively get to bring them into jail. It takes them off the street, and it gives the person housing. That's how they want to deal with it. They don't care about the humanity of it. Let's just create these.
free criminals. Being robbed? Let me help by kicking you in the head. That was only one officer. I haven't seen him here since, so this is probably a good thing. <laughs> what exactly would you see him do around here? Because it's not his job. I don't believe your job description entails watching people commit criminal acts. Well, it depends on their whose administration. Hello? If this fine gentleman was one of the many drug dealers that's been caught within HPD, you might be able to just offer him drugs and walk away. Others, they just like the sale of stolen goods within the system, so maybe pay them off for the items. But I, I'm hoping all of those people got caught. And it's supposed you just to be destroyed a store's property. There's a city ordinance about it being uh, having to be returned to the company, and uh, they don't care. They don't care about their own ordinance. Are you fucking for real? <laughs> you know damn well that that they don't just sell shopping carts to people, guys. <laughs> you just destroyed a store's property. Yeah. That, that was pretty screwed up. Are you fucking for real? That's someone else's property you knowingly just destroyed. <laughs> A corporation's property, too. Here they're doing this for the corporations and the rich, and they just busted you have up their got property. To be <laughs> <me>. <laughs> and you're just allowing them to do it. <laughs> what in the fuck, guys? <laughs> Yeah, they made a lot I of I refuse stuff. to believe that you guys are that willfully ignorant. <laughs> Nobody's that fucking stupid. Well, this is willful. Yeah, I should say. <laughs> okay, so that. So you know damn well that that's private property. It's a Kmart shopping cart. Yeah. Came our shopping cart. That's what they do with your property if they just don't even want to deal with Bill 54 anymore. They just crush it. You see, now we have all these fine people with all their property all over this park. And it's okay. And they're setting up structures. So, but that's okay. <laughs> we can have structures when you're a dog owner that deals with the dog associations. <laughs> Thanks for breaking a law again, guys. It's cool. Day 200, Bicentennial, still the longest, still here. 
Too much fun. What? Well, here, tell us to the camera. So, I requested a police supervisor because I called the state police and they're refusing to come down because they say there is a police presence here, even though it's a corrupt police presence. And so, I was told to call their supervisor. After explaining to the state police that we've done that before and it's gone nowhere, the state police hung up on me. So, I requested from that officer that his supervisor be brought down. He told me he will after they're done, and now he's just walked away without calling him. <laughs> so, proves my point that I was trying to say to the state police that they're corrupt and that they are ignoring us. But they just keep telling us to talk to HPD. So, I don't know exactly where to go with this now. But as you can clearly see, there is no police supervisor after I repeatedly requested one. Good. You know her number off there? No, I do not. Alright, guys, uh, we'll see you tomorrow or the next day or whenever the, the next edition of uh, Occupy Honolulu ends up being raided again. <laughs> Stay tuned, because we're getting ready for our game shows at uh, at the location of uh, each of the raids, and uh, we've got a few different game shows that we're considering and uh, trying to set up for, so, uh, you know, we figure, instead of just watching the same thing over and over again, at least have it entertaining, so, <laughs> it'll uh, be coming to...